So you wanna start getting into wireless DMX lighting, but where do you start? There's a lot of different price points that can range from hundreds to thousands of dollars depending on your transmitter, your receiver, and what kind of software you wanna run. I'm gonna show you how to get started in the wireless DMX lighting world on a budget. If you wanna have full wireless control of your lighting units with no cables, you're going to need a CRMX transmitter and receiver. CRMX is just kind of a fancy way of saying DMX wirelessly. Usually DMX is run through cables. All CRMX does is take that signal and make it wireless. It's also referred to as Lumen Radio as that's the company that came up with the software and they own the rights. So to start off, a good budget transmitter is the Godox Timo Link transmitter. It's only $200 and for the price, it's actually really good. The great thing about this unit is you can use it wirelessly to your iPad or your Mac for control controls or if you wanted to hardline plug it into a DMX controller that had the DMX port you could do it that way as well. Now the transmitter does have to be powered through USB-C but for the price point it's actually a really good unit. Godox also makes a Timo Link receiver which I own personally and I'm very happy with it. You're going to need to buy that receiver if your light doesn't have built-in CRMX or it doesn't have a built-in Timo chip as that gives it the ability to pick up the CRMX signal wirelessly. For example my Amaran F22C doesn't have built-in CRMX or a Timo chip. I use the Godox receiver with a converter cable that goes from DMX to USB-C so I can plug that into my ballast on the F22. You could also just plug the receiver directly in on the unit if it has a DMX in port. So now instead of using the Bluetooth on my F22, I have CRMX capability which is a lot better overall. You get better signal strength and better reliability. The Godox transmitter also has the ability to connect to multiple receivers at a time. So if you had multiple lights that you each wanted to have on CRMX, you could do that. Or if you wanted to daisy chain from the receiver, if your light has DMX out, you could daisy chain down the line. Although with the price point of the Godox units themselves, I wouldn't really trust it on multiple lights at a time. I'm sure with that many lights on the price point of the Godox, it's gonna start to lag and you're gonna have connection issues at a certain point. For a better quality transmitter with longer range and only a few hundred bucks more, I would recommend the Sidus One coming in at $439. It offers ArtNet and SACN over Wi-Fi as well as it has Bluetooth. You would simply connect the box to your software of choice through your iPad or your Mac. You also have the ability to hardwire the transmitter as well. Now this also does have a battery, but the battery life is pretty good and you have the ability to run it while on battery. So as long as your light had a Timo Link receiver or CRMX receiver, you would only need the Sidus Link transmitter. If your light didn't have that built-in capability, then you would have to pick up that receiver like the Godox or another type of receiver. Now the Sidus One is limited to one universe or 512 DMX channels, but if you're just getting started, this is usually plenty. Now there is another box called the Astera box, which gets talked about quite a bit, and it's around the same price point as the Sidus One. I see it on set more times than I would like, and I have to say, I really don't like the Astera box at all. It usually works okay, but there's been too many times where I've had connection issues, or it just drops out totally, and it's always at the worst time on set. The Sidus One is much better in my opinion, and it's actually cheaper than the Astera box. And Sidus One works a lot better with Sidus Link Pro. And speaking of which DMX software to use, Sidus Link Pro is a great starting point. It's completely free in the App Store, and all you need is an iPad or a Mac to run the program. It has the ability of DMX addressing. You can use CRMX, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. You can also set up sequences in the app to have lighting cues on set. And for the app being free, it's actually very good and works pretty flawlessly. Now for my personal DMX setup, I run a Lumen Radio Aurora unit, which comes in at a little bit over 1200 bucks. The box can handle up to one universe on SACN or ArtNet, and has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. My software of choice is Blackout Next, which you do have to pay for, and it's a little bit over 600 bucks, but I prefer it as you're able to do more effects work and manipulate the lights a little bit better. But I could easily do most of the stuff inside as Pro with the Aurora box. For my lights with no CRMX or Timo Link built in, I use those Godox receivers. And for some of my lights, like the Vortex 8 here, it has CRMX built in, which is a great plus. The Aurora can run off a of V-mount battery, and I usually clip it on my belt so I can walk around with it using my iPad as I work on set. And all this packs into this little Pelican case I made to keep it all safe during transport. I definitely plan on getting more Godox receivers in the future once I have a need for it, as the price point is just too good. I'll also probably upgrade to the Lumen Radio Stardust in the future once I have the need for more universes, as that can handle up to eight universes. But at the price point at over $3,000, I'm still not to that point where I need that many universes at that price point. So hopefully I gave you some ideas on starting your own DMX setup. If you guys do your setups differently or you have something cool, drop it in the comments, let me know. And let me know if you wanna see anything else DMX related in general. Please give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, it really helps me out. We'll see you next week.